Hello, I'm Eileen Marcus, and I talk about managing annoying me, those patterns and behaviors that keep me stuck that I just don't know how to live without. And in this series, Learning to Know Myself, I started with part one, Loving What I Have. You can go back and read that. Today, we are talking about part two, falling in love with myself. Because as it turns out, when I find what I love, I have to love who I'm doing it with. And I spend a lot of time by myself, by choice, but seriously, we sleep by, you know, when we fall asleep, we're sleeping by ourselves, running errands, or a lot of things I do by myself. But I do have a bucket list item, and that is finding someone I love. I really believe it's possible. I've come close but I got in my own way. So this series, I'm talking to myself as much as to you about how do I actually love who I am so I can show up and be truly present with another person. So in order to love what you have and who you are and to love yourself, the most important thing to do is number one, talk to yourself like you're talking to a friend. If I said the things in my head to my, that I say to myself, to my friends, I wouldn't have any friends. When a friend tells you a problem, you know, I had a little accident, I forgot an email, I didn't do something right, you're like, oh, it's not a big deal, be gentle, tomorrow's another day. That's not what I say to myself, what's wrong with you, you're a loser, this. Cut that talk, talk to yourself like you're a friend, because you are your best friend. Second, find proof positive of personal growth. Everyone has a path, a spiritual journey, uh, a guru, a therapist, something that you work with. You know what works for you, but we still get stuck. So make sure you lean into the things. When something goes right, take time to say, okay, that felt good. I'll give you an example. I had an old boyfriend contact me. Ooh, it used to be old boyfriend. Maybe this will be the time. It'll work out. Blah, 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 blah. Well, that's not the way it works. I actually how to say, no, I can't get together with you. And it felt tough and it felt bad and I thought I was missing something. And then I said, okay, but I know what happens when I see him. I always feel bad about myself the next day. And I just sat with the uncomfort. I got through it and what do you know? I didn't see him and I feel okay because I want the right guy to come in, not the wrong guy. I want the right doors to open, not the wrong doors. So find proof positive on your path that you are making progress, that I can sit with the uncomfort a little more. I can say no a little more. I can put myself first a little more. And the more I do it, the more I can do it. So you have to do it to do it. That was a lot of do it. Okay, and three, change your words and then you'll change your thoughts. That negative self-talk you just heard me do, oh, I'm a loser, why did I do that? That does not help me exist in the world. I need to speak positively. I did the best I could at the time. Maybe that wasn't what I wanted to do, but I'll do better next time. My entire goal is to be kinder, gentler, and more loving to me and to others. So changing your words will change your thoughts. Talk to yourself like you're talking to someone you love, because you are talking to someone you love, yourself. So what's next? Start stopping. Start stopping what doesn't work, what doesn't feel good, what you've been doing forever, and it's just not getting you what you need anymore. We all learn new behaviors all the time, a new recipe, even though we always cook in the pan, now I air fry. Who knew? So start trying something new. Be kind to yourself. It takes time to forgive, forget, and learn new patterns. You did the best you could at the time and what, with what you knew at that time. Now it's a new point in time, a time to fall in love with you and your life. Go ahead. You're worth it. This is Eileen Marcus, and I wish you all an audacious day. Bye.